is coming. There. Alright, now you gotta hold it. Yep. Put it down. Okay. Then we can put mulch on top too at some point. A little more. Is it going to be ever sweet? Maybe. So we planted our apple trees this week. Um, some of them were replacement trees. Um, we had um, some uh, gopher damage. Um, gophers love little young uh, apple tree roots. And you know, one of the many things we've learned the hard way is to uh, build a gopher basket and, and put the young tree inside the basket and then that protects it from the gophers. And it's not a hundred percent protection. Like it's, we also, that's why we also rely on like owls. We want to have a, we want to create a balance of animals on the property. Like we have like six cats now, like cat, because without, without other animal kingdom groups, like the, the, the rodents get out of control. They need, they need predators. And then Chloe, Chloe our dog is, is not quite so uh, good at catching the gophers, but she loves to come with me and help me dig the holes. Uh, so I can dig a hole where where I, I show her where to go and I'm like, there's a gopher in there, get it girl. And then she just digs the hole and then I put a couple little, these little mechanical traps in there. So again, it's that kind of combination of, of our human influence and using the animals, that nice balance. Um, so yeah, humans are just one other piece of the puzzle. Yeah, like we're just so like, and we're fine with gophers if they're not just right eating the trees. Like we yeah. had like trees where you just pull a stick out of the uh, out of the earth. They they nibbled off all the roots. It's pretty sad. And then the vines, obviously too. So so we always say a, a you know a, a a pest is only a pest when it's in the wrong place. Uh, so we spent a lot of time uh, working on. Uh, getting the sheep into a new um, area. So, mm -hmm. so right now they're not allowed in the vineyard uh, because we have all this amazing uh, bud break and growth, and they would just go crazy on the vines. So we're over in the in the olive grove. Um, would you say it was an easy transition? <laughs> it wasn't really an easy transition. No, it, it, they, sheep are creatures of habit. Right. So when we first started to say, "Hey, go over here," and we would kind of shepherd them they just they were resisting yeah they ran <laughs> they back did not want to go and i mean they this is not like a bad place where we were sending them no. this was an, a hillside with three olive trees it was like and a, grass this high it was like a tuscan landscape yes. and these sheep were just like totally like eh, eh. <laughs> it's ridiculous so finally they got used to it they spent one day there and now they're like oh okay now we go no, over it here took three days using animals for grazing and like not overgrazing and not undergrazing and letting them pee and poop uh, creates uh, like humus and that uh, allows the carbon from the air to be sucked into the soil. So it's amazing like with this warm weather now, so we had the rains and the warm weather and there's just been so much growth. I, I mean, I went out there, we went out there and it was just mind blowing to see just in two days, uh, the flowers start to form. So. Um, that's when you know that 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 flowering is going to be coming, and we're going to have grapes on the vine pretty soon, and we're pretty excited about that. We can't wait.